This is Damien with Point Tech, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. Today we're going to be addressing the issue, uh, maybe you have a, a CMOS checksum error on startup, or maybe you're coming to this video from the last video where you did a BIOS reset, uh, and now this is the next step in the BIOS reset process. Uh, either way, a, a CMOS checksum error occurs during your startup. Uh, it could mean that either you've done a BIOS reset, or it could mean that your um, system has been restored to its default factory settings. This can be caused by your CMOS battery being bad or depleted, uh, which can by default cause a, a BIOS reset. Uh, the CMOS battery is what supplies power to your motherboard even when your computer's off. Uh, so uh, that may be why this is happening. Or it can be also caused uh, by a BIOS update or, or some other uh, sudden power loss. It's usually an easy problem to fix. So I'll show you how to uh, set, adjust your settings uh, so this message will stop. So first thing you want to do is turn on your computer. So first thing you want to do is turn on your computer. And depending on your model, sometimes you have to immediately hit escape or F2. Uh, just to be sure, Google your model to find out what key you need to enter BIOS. Uh, but I'm going to start by hitting F2. So I'm going to hit power, F2. So this is your bio system. Yours may look a little different based on what model you have or what year computer you have. But basically you're going to try to navigate through this to find your system date and system time settings. As you can see mine here are on my home page which makes it easier. I'm going to use my arrows. Sometimes you'll use your tab key. I'm going to arrow over to date and time. Sometimes you can hit enter. If you can't hit, hit enter try using your actual uh, mouse button and navigating over to it and clicking on it. But basically you would want to change these settings so that it's the correct date and time. So for example, my, uh, my mouse is working. I can change it. And I can do the same with the seconds and with the hour. So you're gonna change this so it's the correct time. Right now I'm gonna go for my time is 11.50. So I'm going to hit OK, and then my date, we're shooting this right now, it's Tuesday, August 14th. So I'm going to turn this to August 14th, Oops. 2018, OK. So once that's done, Save and exit. And again, you can use your mouse or you can use that F10 hotkey. Save and exit changes. Yes. If you're still getting that error now, that checksum error, after you've performed this operation, um, then maybe the, your CMOS battery is going bad or is already bad because every time you shut it off, it's resetting your BIOS system. So before considering replacing your CMOS battery, try leaving your computer on for several days. Don't turn it off. Leave it plugged in, leave it on. Sometimes that gives the computer time to recharge your CMOS battery. But if it persists even after that, uh, it's time to swap out your CMOS battery. It's a pretty cheap fix uh, for how to locate this battery in your computer. We'll have a uh, link to a video down bottom uh, for how to fix a dead laptop. Uh, we'll show in this video how to do a BIOS reset, which would involve locating your CMOS battery and changing it. So if this was helpful, please like and share. Any questions or issues, please leave a comment. We'll help you through what you're going through. And if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair, please subscribe.